Barcelona 5, Sevilla 1, and Barcelona are back to winning ways in the La Liga. This is thanks to goals by uh, Lewandowski, got two. Pablo Torre off the bench, got two. And Pedri got a goal as well. Obviously, the highlight of the night is none other than Gavi making his comeback after 349 days on the sidelines. When he came off, Pedri gave, gave him the armband and told him, yo, bro, welcome back. This is your thing. They played so well. The one thing about this team that just shocks me is how good they are at set pieces. Yeah, they're not the biggest team. Barcelona, Wakotu saw set piece. They're just really good at set pieces. And I can't tell you why, honestly. Like, I can't definitively tell you that these guys are good because... Um, okay, many teams that are good at set pieces are basically tall teams. They are big people. But these guys, people are all short, whatever, but it's just, it's the variety. It's short corners, it's playing back post, near post. Like, it's just, they have such good variety. And they've balanced it well. I think there was a stat that came on the screen that when you when you compare how the, the, they spread their corner kicks 21 percent near post and i think it was 45 in the middle and 30 something at the back so it's almost you think a team like barcelona where it's everything would be short 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 previously but here it's like they have a good variety um yeah i was quite impressed by um Lewandowski. he looks really really sharp to be honest looks very sharp and um Sevilla's only way to play here was basically play there on the counter. Um, one thing, while we were doing the live, shout out to everyone who came out on the live, by the way. There's 11,000 people watching on TikTok, which is insane. Yeah, so if you look at um, how Sevilla lined up, Sevilla got a new coach. Um, what's his name? Garcia Pimienta. Garcia Pimienta used to coach Las Palmas last year. He's a coach who likes a position-based kind of game. If you... No, Sevilla. Sevilla did really well for many years under Monchi, um, their technical director. But they're trying to move away from... They're, they're trying to move towards a position-based foot game. And they're also trying to move away from an older squad. They had a really aging squad. The likes of Rakitic, obviously Jesus Navas is still there. Um, yeah, they had an aging squad. So they're trying to make it young. They're trying to make it more of a pos position-based game. So really, really interesting to see them... Um, try and implement that. But it's going to take time, as anything. It's going to take time. So the only outlet here was actually um, Luke Bakio on the counter or Ojuke on the other side. But the Ojuke got, uh, left the game injured. Looks like a really crazy or nasty hamstring injury. But yeah, they're, they're just there. They're not, they're not a great side. It's, it's still difficult to tell what their style of play is. And Barcelona really capitalized on that. Like Jules Kunde was just really, really bowling. If you saw Jules Kunde. If this was your first season of watching football, you'd think this guy was a right back from the get-go. But he's really, really just blended in there. Um, Rafinha still remains the best <laughs> decision, one of the best decisions they've made in a long time. He's, he shows so much enthusiasm. There's one where they were, I think they have three nil up and the guy is the, it was a counter and he was the farthest back, running back, trying to shut down a counter. So... He played really well as well, so I'm 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 quite impressed. Um, Ansu Fati had the rare chance to start because uh, Eric Garcia got injured in the um, in the warm up, so they had to start with Ansu Fati. He didn't really he didn't really give much. He didn't really have an impact, but let's see let's see if he gets more chances. So yeah, obviously Pedri Lewandowski getting two, um, Pablo Torre getting two off the bench as well was uh, really impressive. But yeah, to me, Rafinha still remains a crucial, crucial bit in this team. So yeah, get ready for Wednesday, the big one, Barcelona versus Bayern Munich. We will be doing the live, we'll be live on TikTok and we're going to do a preview for that. So yeah, and big shout out to HMD.